Well, the history of the Audi A8 will take us back to 1994. Let's move now to a place that is chock full of vehicles that define the root of automotive luxury. Let's go to Las Vegas to the world's largest classic car showroom, the Auto Collection. Where are we right now? We're at the Imperial Palace where the auto collections. We have over 300 vehicles, and maybe at one time we might have 250, 300, 350. But we always have special interest cars, one of a kind cars, low mileage cars, something unique about each car. But you can actually buy these cars. I mean, most of them, if not all of them, are for sale. So how much is this car worth? Because, you know, I've got a few pennies in my piggy bank, so. It's not too bad, it's about eight million. Eight million dollars. What's the most inexpensive car you have in the room? Well, I'll show you a little bit later. We have a little cabbie over here. It's about 12,500. But the average car prob probably runs about 100,000. Well, you've mentioned the Starsky and Hutch vehicle, which someone's actually purchased. But what other cars do people know that may maybe they can see here that a celebrity's driven or that they've seen in a show? Well, we got a Desperate Housewives pickup up there. So any day, any week, we can have a different celebrity car. So if you want to see a celebrity car, most likely we will have something on location. What's your personal favorite in this entire showroom? And I know that must change because the cars change. But if you had to pick out one car right now that is your absolute bee's knees, what is it? Well, I would say it's the Packard. That, that car is just perfect. Underneath, the undercarriage is perfect. The paint is perfect. The interior is perfect. It just has the, enough chrome on it to make it look just spectacular. And it runs better than it looks. And you can't say that all the time on classic cars. You know? And what would you say the car in here that is most likely to be a surprise for people to see? Most likely it's the car right over here on the right hand side. It's the 63 prototype T-Bird. That car is the first one ever made and started the generation of the 63 and above T-Birds. Okay, so if I did win the 8 million or let's say slightly less and I wanted to drive something out of here, is that possible? Oh yes, you can drive it out, no problem. We just check. But all these cars run. Everything runs. Everything runs. Where are the keys? <laughs> I know. Where's the money? <laughs> Worried he was going to ask that. 